Let's also talk about the White House has confirmed to NBC News there's this space exploration plan involving an asteroid. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, clearly I'm uh, not an astrophysicist. I think that's quite clear to all of us joining us right now. So I'm going to I want to make sure I go to the to my notes right here because I wrote this down so I get it accurately. But according to some of my colleagues that I was speaking to about this to get it more specifically, uh, that this would effectively accomplish the president's goal of trying to send humans to visit an asteroid by the year 2025 in a more cost effective and, and potentially quicker time frame than under some other scenarios. The estimated total mission is about 2.6 billion, billion dollars with a B, but the White House insists it could be closer to one billion dollars or about a hundred million dollars uh, each year for the next decade if they are able to uh, take into effect some of the other progress that's already being made with some other NASA trips, as it were, being made to outer space. Nonetheless, the idea uh, that within about a decade from now there may be humans and asteroids side by side in outer space is something I think a lot of people are pretty, uh, we'll find pretty remarkable. Yeah, well, at least I'm glad you weren't describing a scenario like Armageddon the movie, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. At least we're going to go and, and have a friendly relationship with that asteroid, it sounds like.